two, four, six, great, and 5.9 out of 10. Yikes. So it looks like it'll be a school episode. You got the, I think that's the snail guy. That's, uh, that's all I can see for sure. I'm guessing this will be like a, I don't know, cheerleader thing because like that sounds like a cheer uh that was a very underwhelming previous episode i get the feeling this one is gonna be more dumb bullshit and that i'm not gonna care at all it really was kind of feeling optimistic after what after finally being able to return to the normal episodes but nope that last one sucked. This is right after I watched it. Moving on to the next one. Yeah, I got nothing. No predictions. I mean, this clearly isn't going to be about any kind of bigger story. I mean, maybe it'll be about the kids being bigger or, like, learning something new. Who cares? I honestly thought I'd be more engaged with this, but nope. Don't care. Fuckball League. I swear that she's saying fuckball league instead of buckball. But I guess they're doing the sports thing again. So got it. Gotta teach the team. And Fluttershy is freaked out, so she's scared. Is it a uh, oh, that line delivery felt bad. Just like, I don't know, fake. So here's Rainbow. She's got the dad hat again. So it's gonna be. It's not gonna be exciting though. Choose the cheer squad. So that's why it's the title. And I guess that was almost funny. It's just more dumb bullshit though. The show so rarely ever does something more. Like I'm just thinking Gravity Falls and how every one of those episodes has something that's pretty normal and done a million times. Like body switching and all. Someone having a crush on someone who isn't interested or whatever, but there's always something more about re that's really interesting for the characters and the world and it has funny jokes. I don't know, it's just, there's just nothing here. It's, it's just Rainbow, she's gotta learn how to cheer. What the fuck? She's got this tape done cutie marks. Oh, that's not the snail guy, that's the steps guy. He wants to sell the merchandise. Well, so these are the cheerleaders. Oh, they haven't shown their butts yet. I hate these two already. It just makes me wonder how much porn there is of these two characters. Cheering squad! Like, there's nothing to say about this either. This rainbow is really sad. So it's not gonna work. Because Yona's stopping. It's like when you have that one kid who's like terrible at reading and he's he's trying to read the book in, the, in elementary school and you just gotta wait for him to finish and it's like you feel bad. It's like you don't want to tell him not to read. That's what Yona's stopping is. Oh, there's... She doesn't want to teach. Maybe that's why this has a low rating because Rainbow's being a dumb cunt. <sighs> So this guy just wants to sell his fucking souvenirs and I do not care. I, I don't remember the previous episodes being this boring. I remember the last couple I watched having something a little bit more to them, I think anyway. Ugh, it's just Rainbow doesn't want to do the cheer shit. That's it. <sighs> And there it goes, Rainbow. We're about halfway into this episode, a little bit less. What has happened in 10 minutes? Rainbow is assigned cheer coaching. She doesn't want to do it, and she's been avoiding doing it. That is the only thing that has happened in 10 minutes. There has not been one joke, one interesting point made. It's, it's, it's just nothing. That's a joke, I guess. It's all the things from the main characters. God, it's like these voices. It's like that annoying, like, oh my gosh, we're gonna do this thing. Except it's also like, I pitched. And it's irritating. Uh, now she's here, not cheering. Fuck, I don't care. Oh no, Rainbow didn't brush your scar. And so here comes the terrible performance. What did they, uh, there's dead inside. Uh, oh no. Cannon. Yeah, it still fucking boggles my mind that this is meant to be entertainment. And there's Rainbow. She didn't do anything. Like, this could have happened in like four minutes, I think. Maybe this shouldn't just be a ten minute segment. But it should have something else with it. It's, it's just Rainbow not helping them in any way. That's it. That's the only thing that's happened. 20% cooler! And there's the stupid ass meme. I'm really milking the shit out of that. Things care about. I guess that's that scene is supposed to be emotional. There's almost something there. Oh, I feel so tired. 
noises. What the fuck? What did she say? Yak say love noises? What was that supposed to be about? What is this guy the leader now? Or what? Here comes Rainbow. She's actually gonna help him cheer. Well, now she's turning around. <sighs> No, she's gonna try. Just even like even just this scene, every scene, it's just so slow. The speech is so drawn out. Like what is this? So here's the training montage. Now I'm gonna use Yona's jumps to the advantage and do all the shit. Ugh. What flag signals to fly oh, here's the big game oh, what the, oh is that the flying spell for the one that can't do anything okay there's a funny joke it's so funny because she's being too loud uh she's nervous about the cheering squad cheering and here here they go Ugh. this is just a bad cringe that's all this is it's just really bad Bad cringe. Uh, I feel so disgusted right now. Ugh. Oh my god. This is. I feel visceral pain right now. Ugh. God. Wait, everyone. Oh, she said everyone. Instead of every pony. God, I wanna f fucking die. Ugh, this is so causing so pain. It's just pain. Ugh. No, oh, spelling out the lesson. Classic. I want to die. More fucking pain. So another extraordinarily simple episode. Rainbow has to be the cheer squad coach. She doesn't want to, so she ignores it. Everyone gets pissed at her, so then she starts trying. Then she does a good cheer coaching, and then they make a good performance. And that's it. That's the whole episode. That's the whole 23 minutes. However many minutes it was. Why, though? This was just a whole bunch of just bad cringe. Not good cringe. Cringe. Not like, not something I'd look on a cringe compilation for. This just caused pain. It's just so much dumb bullshit. Like, there's, there's, n there's nothing in this. It's just another basic lesson that you see in, sh in kids' shows. That's it. There's nothing interesting added on to it. There's nothing unique about it. There's nothing funny or entertaining. I guess there's the one moment when Smolder, like, kind of gets really mad at Rainbow and gives her the speech about how Rainbow doesn't care about anything. It's like, that's almost something. But there's just, there's so little to even talk about. There's just nothing. I don't, I'm not entertained at all. And it's not like the show is incapable of being funny or interesting. I mean, it's done that this season, I'm pretty sure. What the hell even happened to this season? I barely even remember now that I think about it. Like with the villains, that's something. It's a little bit. The villains teaming up and then frenemies, that was like almost fine. Okay episode, I guess. But this is just more of the same dumb bullshit that they did in like season one. It's not funny. It makes me feel no emotion of any kind. And it caused me pain. It's not- I can't even get angry about it. It's not even like- that might just be because I've, you know, seen so much of this that I can't really get mad at it, but it doesn't even have that. It truly is like watching a wall of paint dry, and the only entertaining part about it is that there's- you can see some of the paint droplets dripping down because someone didn't paint the wall correctly. And then behind the wall there's like a little baby just screeching. That's, uh, that's the equivalent of the experience of watching this episode. I give this 2 out of 10. There is nothing of merit in this episode at all. Sucks balls.